His camera was vaporized, his tripod even ruined, and other equipment dusted, but the end result left a Houston Chronicle photographer with some pretty incredible images. Last week, we're talking about the SpaceX launching the most powerful rocket ever. So it took days for photographers to collect their gear or honestly what was left of it. ABC 13's Nick Notario spoke to a photographer to find out what he went into when he was capturing those historic images. The Houston Chronicle employee had never captured a rocket launch. He did not know what to expect. So he was able to set up equipment near the launch pad, even though he wasn't nearby. And so that way it would remotely be able to capture this stuff. And when he went back to collect his equipment, he couldn't believe what was on the memory card. These are images a Houston Chronicle photographer wasn't sure anyone would see. It wasn't until days later when John Shapley discovered what he had. I was like, wow, like, you know, you see rocks, debris, rebar. After SpaceX lit the most powerful rocket ever, it caused concrete below it to break into pieces and hurl toward equipment stationed nearby. One of the GoPros I suspect was vaporized. Chapley says a tripod was also damaged and his equipment was covered in dust. This wasn't the only issue. Clear skies made it hard to capture the largest rocket ever. It seemed to be lost in the sun, and I was like, oh, crap, <laughs> where is this rocket? Chapley found it and today shared the incredible images with Houston Chronicle subscribers. I would do it again in a heartbeat, yeah, if my bosses let me. The question is when that'll be. Starship is a SpaceX rocket that'll take people to deep space. What happened last week was a test mission. The rocket wasn't supposed to explode, but when it ran an issue, SpaceX and the FAA destroyed it. An investigation is underway. That isn't the only issue. The rocket caused a crater to form at the pad. Commercial space expert Eric Ingram believes it could take SpaceX a couple months to launch again. Despite last week's ending, he says it wasn't a total failure. There are elements of failure, but I think overall this is achieving what it needed to. The fact the rocket got off the pad, Ingram says, wasn't just good for SpaceX. Commercial aerospace companies could soon benefit, and there are plenty of them here in Houston. This was a huge event for the space industry to see the rocket program move forward. Progress, not just for aerospace, but local photographers who are thankful they were able to get anything from a historic launch. I mean, it's the photo. You're after, you're after that. And what a photo he got. Now, we may not have to wait long to find out exactly what happened. SpaceX is set to address the rocket later this week. Live in the newsroom, Nick Notario, ABC 13, Eyewitness News.